Hello everybody and welcome to North End. Now, this is going to be the second part, well it is, the second part of my train review. Now if you did see the last video, you would have seen that I recently got the Batman S-Stock, the brand new one that's just been released. Well, today I'm actually going to do the full review of it. So I'm going to start off by showing the box. Now I have removed the train to make it easier for myself while recording. So here it is. Now it's a bit different to every usual Batman box you find. First off, it's grey. Now, when have you ever seen Batman do grey boxes? They're usually blue, like this. Second of all, the Batman branch line has, I think, been moved up a little bit to make room for these. Now, obviously, because it's the S-Stock and it's run by London Underground, it has got the London Underground livery on the box. And Bombardier. I'm assuming that's who made the train, in the real train. So they probably... I'm assuming Backman went to the London Transport Museum and Bombardier and got the plans from them to be able to build this train. So, moving on, you'll also see over here we've got stripes. Now these are in the different colours that the S-Stock run on. We've got the circle line. I think this is supposed to be the Metropolitan line, although really it should probably be a bit more purplish. Then you've got pink for Hammersmith and City, and you've got the District. You can see we've got produced by Backman exclusively for the London Transport Museum along the top. If you can even see that. Okay, so moving around to the side, we've got all the normal details you get from a Backman box. So, 35990 product code. London Underground S-Stock S Motorised 4-Car Train Pack Produced exclusively for the London Transport Museum It's 21 DCC and yeah But it doesn't come DCC ready, it, it has to be fitted Now this is the top, the bottom is exactly the same There's not much to talk about on that, we really talked about it up on this upside down bit here <laughs> So now we move on to the back No, I like the back personally. It's completely different. It's almost like um what was it? It's almost like the Rowie children set where when you open the box, you got a picture for, for pictures from the film. It's almost like that. Or the Backman have obviously done their own art or commissioned some art to be made of it to represent the model. We've got a bit of information up here on the actual model, as you usually get. As you can see here. London Underground are replacing all their subsurface trains on the Metropolitan, Circle, Hammersmith and City and District lines with the new trains designed and built by Bombardier at their Derby Works. I think it's Bombardier. Beckman have designed and produced a high quality train set exclusively for the London Transport Museum. Well. In the review, we shall see how high quality the model is, really. And whether you should actually get one. So, yes. Got all the nice artwork. A few people on the station there. I'm not 100% sure where this is. I do recognise it, but... Like, the kind of design of the station with the arches. So... But on the bottom here, which is quite interesting and nice... is this bit. Now it actually says the order on which the train should be assembled which is something that doesn't usually happen doesn't usually happen but works or but that should be done even. So we've got the ones highlighted are the um, the ones that come in the train set the others 
the ones that are slightly brighter in comparison there. These ones are all the ones that come with the extra stuff, the extra coaches. Now they did this, They back when they decided to sell this from the London Transport Museum as either, as a choice of either an S4 which came with just this set or an S8 which came with the extra coaches in the middle. Now you could buy the coaches for the S4 for the middle ones at exactly the same price as what it would have cost for the, the full train but I decided to go for the full train. So moving on from the box next thing I want to show is the envelope. There's no addresses or anything on it because it came inside the box. Now in here contains the uh, the information for the special that they're putting on to celebrate the commission of the release of the model they're doing a um, a special train on Saturday the 26th of September and these are the places it's going to so that's interesting also with the model we received the tickets for the train now I'm really happy with these here we go it's like a credit card in the way you know the and the red text is nice so hopefully we'll get to keep these when we go on the train it says non transactable here trans transferable sorry but surprisingly they didn't actually put a name on well not surprisingly but they didn't actually put a name on it so it could potentially be transferable but oh well so yes, that's the ticket. I'm really pleased with that. Right. So now getting more inside the box. We're going to move on to just this. This is obviously the instruction booklet that you get with it. Just shows you all about the different ways. Is this... Is this a Backland Collectors Club thing? Yep, that's the Backland Collectors Club thing, as per. Oh dear, it's fallen on the floor. Pick it up later. And this is just kind of telling you how to put it together, where, what kind of parts you need, all of that stuff. But nobody wants to really see that as such when we've got an actual model to get onto. Quickly before I get onto the model, you also, if you were within, I think it was the first 150 models to be ordered, you got one of these. This is the uh, certificate to show which num which one you got. Now I got number, oh, shadow on the camera there, 67 of 300, which is quite impressive. Now, I, I thought, I wasn't how, sure how many there were, but if this is right, then apparently there's only 300. So get yours now while you can. <laughs> if you can, that is, of course. Right. So I know it's been a while for me to get into the actual train review. But, here we go. Here's the actual train. Now this... is how... It looks inside. They're the uh, the regular Backman boxes that you get with any train set nowadays. Backman seem to be moving over to these. So, you know, you've got the cover. Open it up. Slide it out. I like these because they're easy to open. And then you just got the block of ice, as it's called. So what I'm going to do now is quickly put this back in if I can.
There we go. Well, I suppose I didn't really need to put that back in because I'm just going to quickly open it. And here we are. No, it's not. I didn't really open it. It's just um, well, I opened the other one, the other half of them. So I opened one half and kept one half in the box. But here we are, the actual train. Now, from a distance, it might not look much, but if we get a bit closer, if the camera can pick this up, you see there's actually an awful lot of detail on this. I'm shaking like, like crazy. Apparently. Now this is just one of the coaches. I'm not going to review all of the coaches because they're more or less exactly the same. But as you can see. Why am I twitching like crazy? I don't know. As you can see, it's, it's just incredible, really. I mean, on the doors, there's the, uh, the old stickers. The old stickers? All the war safety warnings and stuff that you get. You got the buttons here. See, they're the stickers. Now, the livery application has been done more or less perfectly. I mean, I can't quite remember exactly how it is, but to me, I think it looks perfect. There's the little un underground symbol. And there is the um, thingy, the destination board. It says Metropolitan Line on it. So this is obviously supposed to be run as an S8 stop, S8 train. There's little, there's details under here, but, but just above the bogies, under the doors. We've got powers, power sign, warning power here. Got all sorts of boxes. I've got no idea what they will do. And then we've got the other bogey. Now what I will say is that the wheels look awfully small on this. So if we have a look underneath, this is the underframe, obviously. And I must say, it's not done too badly, really. Now, one thing that has received a little bit of criticism on this model is this. I'm literally shaking. I'm so sorry for this. But this is obviously where the interconnection would be. But because it's all open on the real thing and on here, on here it's not. That's received a bit of criticism. However, it does increase the support on the model. Now, moving on to the roof. There's not much detail on the roof really. we got some uh, boxes and stuff, some vents are there. Air this is probably all the air conditioning unit, I'm assuming. Now, if we can, inside, this has probably been the thing that's received the most criticism on the whole of the model. You might not be able to see very well, but inside isn't particularly well detailed. I mean, it's got windows, which is nice, obviously, and it's got seats inside as well. But there isn't too much detailing. It would have been nice had we have had, I don't know, some yellow bars or some posters, or maybe even a couple of people wouldn't go amiss. But, oh well. However, what I do really like about this is that they've, is that they've actually looked at a proper underground train and you see the seats there, they're actually sideways. We've got seats here that face forward and backwards. But these ones here, right at the back, if you can see them, sit sideways. Which is obviously how it actually happens. Now, obviously there's not much colour inside. But, to be honest, with the outside, it kind of counterbalances it. The, the outside is just incredible. But of course, this is just a coach. Well, I say just a coach. It's a coach, obviously. Next, I'm going to move on.
It's an alright runner. Thought I would test that out. It's not the smoothest thing we've got, but it's quite nice. I'll put that over there. Because now, we're going to move on to the front. Da -da -da -da! I'm still shaking, apparently. So here's the front. It is just incredible. You've got the uh, destination, which you can't actually see because of the shadow of the camera. But we've got the destination up the top there. It's number... I think it was... Let me have a look at this, sorry. 455 at the top. That must be the train, what one's out. Where it came, like what number it came out in. The top destination says Aldergate, and the bottom one says the Metropolitan Line. So it's obviously running on the Metropolitan Line, going to Aldergate. The running number is 21087. The window wipers are... They're just... They're lovely. It is a, it is a brilliant model from the front. And it's been represented really well. From what I can remember, these they actually look like this. We've got the coupling, the cup and ball kind of system on the front. Now moving on to the side of the terrain. We've got a lot of reflection from the light, apparently. We've got steps here. For the cat for the driver. We've got more. Car stands only signs. More detail up here. It's the London Trent, London Underground logo again. Got the light for the opening and closing the doors, obviously. Then we've got the, the uh, Metropolitan Line destination bit over here, and a number on the side. As to the roof, we've got this bit, which was the same as the other one, but we've also got a bit here. I'm not 100% sure what any of this does, but I'm assuming it's all for air conditioning. Inside, it's more or less the same story, except I have noticed that there's a bit of a groove there. There's a giant bolt. Now... It's probably not going to notice when it's moving. It is a bit of a shame that they had to do that, but that was obviously just to do with with the bogies and connecting it, I suppose. Now underneath, moving from the front, we've got a bit of detail there. This doesn't move, the front. You see the wheels are powered. All of the cars apparent are powered. All of the cars are powered from the wheels, so you can add interior lighting. That was another thing that Batman had, that there was no interior lighting. Now, for an underground train that goes underground all the time, you would have thought you'd have interior lighting, but obviously not, especially for the price. Here we've got the speaker. So, it doesn't actually have DCC sound, but that is ready just in case you want to do DCC sound on it which is a very nice addition. Further along, this I'm assuming is the bit that opens. Now I know from reading magazines and stuff that this, somewhere along here, it actually flaps open and you can put the DCC chip in without having to totally open the train, which is nice. Got a number four here which I believe was also seen on um, on the Blue Pullman which the 4 is upside down I know I will just turn it the right way there you go which obviously just which must say what order they go in so this will be the back the back bit going the wrong way 
you see the the rear bogey is powered as well then we've got the coupling same story the back's not open as for the coupling system it's a bit of a funny one I think this was also used on the um, blue Pullman. it's basically a load of plastic pins and I don't think these have contact these have um, electrical contact no now there's also a hole here which you can slip their partner in which is obviously one would be here one would be above it and then they would just hold together now the system like this makes them be able to couple really close together meaning that it actually looks pretty similar to how it, how it would be in real life where they're completely joined this is just the other side of it it's all the same so yes it is probably one of the best well probably the best model I own I think I would give it somewhere between a 9 and a 10 now I would say a 10 but because of the interior it would have to drop down to a 9 I think however once the interior is forgotten it would be a complete 10 one thing else I didn't mention the destination board and the lights on the front and back do light up which is a good thing this also makes for a little bit of light bleed in the cab making it look like there's perhaps a, perhaps a cab lamp in there I'll leave them how they are and I'll take the camera off the tripod and down to them. Sorry about any background mess you might see. I've literally hijacked my mum's table to be able to do this review on. But you can imagine once that be once this been coupled up, they would be so close together. Like I say, I won't bother doing the rest of the coaches because they're going to be more or less the same. Now this is the part where Intercity82, another YouTuber who does re reviews on trains, if you haven't seen him, check him out. This is the part where he would go to his test loop and run the train. Now unfortunately, we don't have a test loop. But what I might do is put the S4, is put it as an S4 stock train on the layout and run it to see what it looks like so sorry I thought I'd finished but I've just remembered I haven't actually shown off the rest of them yet so I'm not going to take it out of the box but this is what the um, the coaches come like you can see if I put it down we have the uh, stripes in all the different line colours. We have the same over here. Bombardier. A London Underground. London Underground S-Stock Carriage. By Backman. We've got them underneath. Now on the top. It gives a very good picture. Again. Of where these cars should go. In the train. And finally the back. Now the back is similar to the old to the other one. It's the same artwork. You can see it a bit better now because the uh words aren't in the way. And there's the information. This is one of four produced specifically to ex this is this coach, sorry, is one of four produced specifically to expand the London Underground S stock four car modernization train pack 
So yes, that's the box for the for these coaches. As you'll see at the front of that coach, I kind of lied earlier, saying that it didn't that it didn't have interior lighting. Turns out it does, but only because of the destination board. There's so much light bleed that it actually makes it look like the front has interior lighting. This is the light bleed in the dark. As you can see, it looks a bit weird, almost like the front is lit and the back is not. Now this could be improved with interior lighting, however, as you might all have also seen, there's a lot of light bleed, light bleed through the actual train. So whether or not we will add interior lighting is yet to be said. So, to conclude, this is probably one of the best models w that I own. It's probably one of the most detailed, and it's just amazing. I don't even know how to describe it, really. Of course, the interior could be better, and it could have lights. However, it's that kind of doesn't reduce from the... Uh, external because it is it is almost perfect on the outside I can't see anything wrong with it the lights are as you could just will see here overwhelmingly well bleh, overwhelmingly bright let me just turn them off there we go you can see the train now and the de the detail is it's just brilliant like I said so, hopefully you've enjoyed this review on the new Backman S8. 
London Underground train ready to run. The first one of its kind. And I'm hoping that this sparks off the imagination of other producers, even if it's not Backman, to make completely different ones ready to run. So we have like tube stock and all the older trains. So hopefully that will happen. So thank you for watching this video everybody and we will see you all next time. Goodbye.